Good morning. Today is E. I guess it's this way. No. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, I am making a easy eggs sandwich, open face. Uh, let me show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna turn you around. I I put um, a bun. A cup. You know, this is just a hamburger bun, and I've got it on a skillet. I'm just browning it with a little butter. I put some ham. This is just simply, um, you know, ham like you could buy in the in the store. Here it is. And now I'm going to top that ham with a slice of cheese. Hold on a minute, and get the paper off the cheese, and then just lay that on there real quick. I'm turning this fire down really low. So it'll go slow. I don't want to burn that bread. Hold on a minute. Here's the other piece of cheese. Yep, the bread's starting to look good. All right, so I'm just going to turn the fire off on that. And just let that stay warm. And now I'm going to make a little uh, white sauce. I'm going to do it using cornstarch. So I've got my cornstarch here. And um, and I'm going to use some half and half because my milk has expired. So we always have half and half. I can use that instead. So I'm going to put a half a cup of, of um, half and half and a half of a tablespoon of cornstarch in this little pan right here. Now, let me get that started and I'll get right back. Okay, I've got that in the pan. I whisked it up really good like this. Now I'm going to add in about, um, I don't know, maybe a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and also about an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper and then one tablespoon of butter. And I'm just going to let this cook until it gets thick and I'll just stir it so it doesn't, uh, you know, stick on the bottom or anything. And I'll get right back with you. Okay, just take a look at this. See how it's thickened up? It's perfect now. So now I'm just going to cut that off, keep it warm right here on the stove. And we're going to start our pan for poaching the, um, the eggs. So I have this really cool insert here. This is a, I get this on Amazon and I'll put the link in my comments, but this is just a really cool thing. You put it right down in your skillet. As you can see here, I put a little bit of water in the skillet, then I put this in there and now I'm gonna spray these and crack an egg in each one. And then I'll get right back with you. Okay, you can see how the eggs have started to turn white on the bottom, so I quickly put the top on, and I'm gonna set my timer for three minutes. And then I'll have a perfect three minute egg to be able to put on top of my sandwich. So I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling the sandwiches over here so it'll all be ready as soon as the eggs are ready. Okay, the eggs are almost ready. I've got my little, um, my bun and my ham and my cheese right here. So as soon as those, that beeps, I will assemble them. So I'm ready. <laughs> I think it's about to beep. Okay, that's the beeper. Off, fire off, pick these up really quickly. You can see how good they look right there. Now I'm just going to slip them right out and onto my sandwich. slippery but it's on there now then 
all I have to do is spoon the sauce over the top and we'll be ready to eat. Yum. Just a quick and easy breakfast. See that? Doesn't that look good? You give it a fork. And I'll be able to tell you just how good it is. Set the plate down. Get a little bit of everything on my bite. I went sliding. Mm. That's good, y'all. Try it. This evening I'm gonna do another dish that begins with E, so stay tuned right here. Hello, friends. I'm back and um this morning, that brunch was really good. Um, it was it's like, kind of like a fake Eggs Benedict. It didn't have the uh, the lemony taste like comes with Eggs Benedict, but it was still very good and quick and easy. So I'm all about quick and easy. So now I'm going to start making some eggplant Parmesan. And I've got some not super hard, large, um, Eggplants. These are just like a medium-sized eggplant. This is what I'll, I'll be making this with. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to peel these and cut them into about 3 8 inch slices. And then I'll get right back with you. So hold on. Okay, I've cut these in about 3 8 inch slices. And I've put them on a baking sheet. And I've already uh, started sprinkling them with salt. These are uh, just the extras that wouldn't fit right on the sheet. So I'm just gonna continue sprinkling them with the salt. This will help draw out the bitterness that might be in them. So these are gonna sit with salt on them for about an hour and just so I can go be doing something else while this is going on. And hopefully this um, will draw out the bitter juice out of these. Um, eggplant slices. So let me get set up and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so I normally um, use minced garlic that I buy already minced up because it's just quicker and easier, but this recipe for the marinara sauce that's gonna go um, in with the uh, eggplant to make the eggplant parmesan, it calls for uh, garlic cloves that are sliced. So it calls for four garlic cloves. And this is the bulb of garlic and I've broken off four cloves and peeled them. So now I've got, just got to slice these up. I've got two tablespoons of uh, olive oil down in this Dutch oven. So now I'm just gonna slice these um, little garlic cloves into slices, put them in here and let them cook until they're um, translucent and real fragrant, and then I will remove the garlic from the pot. So let me get that going, and um, I guess you can watch if you would like. I'm just gonna slice these up. I've never taken garlic out of something before when I've been cooking it, so this will be something different for me. Um, this is supposedly the copycat of the Olive Garden um, eggplant parmesan. So that's probably why there's a lot more work to it than dishes that I normally make. But hopefully it'll taste really good. So I'll get these cooking 
and I'll get back with you in just a few minutes. Y'all, it's only been like maybe five or 10 minutes, but look, can you see all the juice coming out of these from the salt? I don't know if you can see all that juice on there. It's like really, it's really bringing the juice out of them. Anyhow, I just wanted you to see that. Okay, I just took that garlic out of here. So now I'm going to add in a 28 ounce can of tomato puree. Pretty hot and two cans of you know the 14 ounces so or you could do a 28 ounce can of diced tomato I'm using the petite diced tomatoes spices. The first thing I'm going to add in is one and a half teaspoons of Italian seasoning. Some dried basil, I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of basil. And then some chili flakes, and I happen to have some where I crush some chilies. We do the cayenne peppers, we dry them, which are hanging right over there, you can see them. So I've crushed some and it called for about a fourth of a teaspoon, that's about what's left in here. So I'm just gonna Dump those right in there. And then two teaspoons of salt. So let me get the salt over here. And then a half a teaspoon of black pepper. So let me get that. And now I'm just gonna stir that all together and let this simmer. And it's gonna simmer for, I'm gonna cover it and um, reduce the heat and let it simmer for about 25 to 30 minutes. So I'll get back with you then. Okay, I wanted you to see it's been an hour now and I don't know if you can see how much liquid is down in the bottom of this. Let me try to pour some of it out in this little bowl just so you can see how much liquid is coming out of this, this eggplant. I mean, it's amazing. It's kind of a brown color too. Maybe, maybe it's purple, I don't know. But anyhow, um, now I'm just going to be blotting them off, drying them as much as I can, and wiping any excess salt that might be on them, and just, just patting them dry like this, putting them over in this bowl, because then we're going to um, get them all breaded up for um, the frying pan. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, now I've set up my breading station here. And so I've got two cups of flour, all-purpose flour in this bowl. I've got four eggs and a cup of milk mixed together in this bowl. And I've got Italian breadcrumbs in this bowl. And then I've got, a, um, I've got uh, racks on top of a baking sheet over here. So with my left hand, I am putting the flour on then putting it right in the egg mixture, then dropping it here. And with my right hand, I'm covering it with the breadcrumbs and then 
putting it on the baking sheet right there. So I'll get all of these done and then we'll heat our oil and start frying them up. All right, I have heated the oil to about 400 degrees so that as I put this in here, it will cool back down to 375, which is the right temperature for frying these. I'm just gonna put them in here and then flip them over in just a few minutes. Put just enough in there to fill the pot. It's gonna take several batches to get it done but I just wanted y'all to see how I'm doing it. And I will get them done and I'm gonna, as I get, they get done, I'll put them back up here on the rack and then we'll go from there. Oh my gosh, look how pretty they look when I turn them over, y'all. So pretty. Oh my goodness. Just crisping up beautifully. I'll get right back with you. Y'all, those are all cooked and look how great they look. Oh my gosh and they are so crispy. So let me um, get my dishes ready and we'll start putting this together. Okay, I'm starting to assemble it and I'm going to put it in two different pans because this is way more than Bob and I could eat for one meal. So this will be our little bowl that we'll have tonight. And this one I will put in the freezer or take it to a friend um, tomorrow. So anyhow, now I've I've put about a third of the sauce down in the bottom of these pans, I mean these dishes. And now I'm going to put some of the, just layer some of these eggplants down in here. So about half of them go in now. Okay, do the same thing for this one and then I'm going to put another layer of the sauce and then another layer of eggplant and sauce again. So I will keep doing this and I'll get right back with you. Okay, I got both pans full and I'm now going to cover them with mozzarella cheese, about a cup or so of mozzarella cheese. Might take a little more since I'm dividing it between two pans. This just makes it super yummy. And then we're gonna bake it in a 400 degree oven, which I've got uh, going, and we'll bake it for about five to 10 minutes until this all gets nice and bubbly. And uh, You'll be ready to eat. Yahoo! Yeah, I just realized something. This is, I always call this eggplant parmesan. But there's no parmesan cheese in this. It's called actually eggplant parmigiana. So must not mean parmesan cheese because there's none in here. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I'm gonna put it in the oven. The oven just reached the 200, I mean the 400 degree, degree temperature. So I'll put it in there and let it cook and then we will try it. Okay, they're out of the oven and they are bubbly hot around the edges and the cheese is melted. Uh, way too hot for me to try right now. So I will uh, show you as soon as it cools down and I can get it where I can take it. Okay, y'all, it's cool enough. I've dipped some out. It's kind of firmed up. And now I'm gonna try a little taste. Mm. The texture of that, if you didn't know it was an eggplant, you just think it was some kind of a really good meat, like veal or something, it is delicious. Y'all, I'm telling you, this, um, this took me over two hours to make. It really gives me a good appreciation for Olive Garden. And uh, so when I go there, I will probably order this there. But if you were having a special dinner with company or, or a Christmas meal or something, this would be great. Absolutely great. So um, that's it for the ease. 
Tomorrow will be the F, so send me some suggestions for F. I'm thinking about some French toast casserole, maybe, and, uh, and maybe something else. So give me your suggestions and let me hear from you. Please, please subscribe. I'm really close to having 1,200 subscribers on YouTube, and I've got um, over 19,000 on Facebook. So keep it going, y'all. Love y'all. Bye-bye.